How's the church family? I'm so glad that you're here to watch this video. So before we dive in, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Brett. I'm at Staff at Rosebank Union Church. And why I am so happy that you're here for this video is because over the last couple of uh, weeks, you've probably heard us talking about a new church online platform that we're going to be doing church online in a new way. We've been calling it Church at Home 3.0. Uh, Pastor Justin made the announcements on Sunday and uh, he made the Back to the Future reference. So if you haven't seen that announcement, I reckon you should check it out on our YouTube channel. But anyway, what I'm here to do for you today is to show you what our new platform will look like. But before we get into that, um, let me tell you why we love it so much. So it's called Church Online. And man, it's really, what it's done is it's taken all the things we love about meeting in our church building. That's worship, fellowship, the, the chat, the way we can engage with each, with each other on, on a Sunday, it's taken all of that and done its best job to make it into a, the best experience that can happen online because we're not sure when we'll be gathering in our building again. And so what we love about this is we can now have Rosebank Union Worship. That's right. You're going to see Dave and uh, Justin um, on your screens for church on Sunday for worship. Uh, you, we're going to have live elements to our worship um, that will be part of the flow. You won't have to wait for us to go live a little bit later. And also, we will all gather at the same time. We've got kids service starting at 9 a.m. and then the main worship service starting at 9.30. And we'll all gather together as the body of Christ and worship our awesome God together. So what I'm going to do for you guys now is to show you how to set up a profile um, on the Church Online platform. It's so, so easy, and I don't think uh, many of you will need this demonstration, but it's here for you anyway. And before we go there, just so you know, whatever you use to connect to the internet with, this platform works on that, right? You just need to be able to connect to the internet. If you're using data, don't forget it's going to use a lot of data because streaming videos uses that, uh, uses a lot of bandwidth. But uh, if you connect it to um, fiber or and you've got uncapped and that kind of stuff, don't stress at all. But just make sure if you're using data, you're going to need data for this. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you guys and then I'm going to show you. All right. So whatever you use to use the internet, I'm currently using um, my computer for work, but I'm going to open Safari. Uh, you can also use Google Chrome or Firefox for those people. But anyway, <clears throat> Safari is going to open up. Can you make it nice and big for you guys? All right, so now, after the Rosebank Union website, which is ruc.org.za, this next link is going to be the most important link for you. So it's called golive.ruc.org.za. So golive.ruc.org.za. Hit enter. It's going to take us to where we are going to be doing church for the next while. All right, so this will pop up. Fantastic. So now what I love so much about this platform immediately is you can see what's coming up next. So over here on the right, Kids Church, 9 a.m. Sunday, May 31st. That's the next event that we have that is happening uh, at Rosebank Union Church. Um, when you watch a video in this big black uh, box, what you can see, that's where the video will be. And on the right hand side is chat. Now you can only chat if you create an account. So that's what I want to show you how to do. So you go over here to the top left, click on this little burger menu. All right. So now you can log in if you already have an account or you can sign up. So I'm going to sign up. I'm going to make my nickname. I already have an account, so I'm just going to make a different one. Let's call myself Brett. One, two, three, four. All right. My email address, I'll use my own one. And then my password, I don't want that one. I'll make my own one, thank you. All right. Now, do I want Rosebank Union? It can send me emails 100% because I always want to be up to date with what is happening in the life of the church. So sign me up. Oh, I need a longer password. Alrighty, sign up. There we go. Welcome to Rosebank Union. You are logged in as Brett1234. Okay. So now that I'm logged in, I am able to have a chat. Obviously, I can't chat right now because no service is happening. But what we also love about this is uh, you can go down here and have a look at the schedule. And so you can see that Sunday, May 31st, we've got the 9 a.m. Kids Church, we've got the worship service starting at 9.30, Sunday, June 7th as well. And what you'll start notice is we'll probably start using this platform more and more. And so over here, you might start seeing 
um, other things happening, like say uh, classes on Wednesday nights, or um, yeah, I'm I'm not going to say what exactly because I don't know what, but we can really do whatever we like and push it through to this website. What I'm going to do for you guys now is show you what to expect if uh, you are watching a church service. All right, so I'll be back in a sec. I just need to go set up a little test service. All right, we are back here. So I've just set up a test service. You can see here it says the upcoming event is Brett's test service, 9.40 p.m., Monday, May 25th. That's right, I'm filming this a little bit late. I needed to wait for everything to quieten down before I filmed it. Okay, so the service will get going in just a second. And what's so cool about it is it will start at 9.40, but we can open the chat just before. There you go, the chat is open. So now I can come here as my Brett1234 person and say, hello, how are you? And I can post here before the service has started. This is almost like you've arrived at church a little bit early and you're hanging out in the streets. Maybe you've just got a coffee. You've sat down. You're waiting for church to start. So you post it to your friends. Hello. How are you guys? You can even love what's going on here. You can go down to the bottom here and click notes to see if there are any special notes for the service. Uh, so I've written here that service notes and any other service info will appear here. So there may be sermon outlines or any special things that you really need to know for the service. And so at 9.40 sharp, the service will start. And I'm uh, streaming uh, Richard's service from last week's Sunday. So if you missed it, you better go check it out. But you might catch the intro here for us. You can also go across here to the Bible um, and have the Bible open with you while church is happening. You can click here to choose which book you'd like to read from, uh, even what version. Uh, it's the U version app built into it. Uh, it's fantastic. And even while you're waiting, you might want to click on schedule and see when what else is coming up. So here we are right now for the 940 Brett's test service. And then you can see when other services are coming. Like I said, watch the space. There may be other things here. While we're waiting for the service to start, let me show you a few other things. If you click this link here, it'll take you to our church website or open it up in a new tab. So you can always head across to our church website. You can even head across to our Facebook page. Uh, I would recommend don't do this during church because you may get distracted, but it will take you straight there. Uh, if you want to connect with us, you can click here and it will take you to a contact form um, and you can fill that out for us. Um, you can download the app even. Again, it's just going to tell you how to do that. And if you've missed any sermons, you can go across to our message archive and catch up on any sermons you may have missed. That is why we really love this new platform. It has, it is so versatile and has so many cool things. All right, so the service should start in about a minute. Uh, before it does, what I want to show you quickly is this really cool function called Live Prayer. So you can click on here, and um, basically you've requested prayer. Now, myself on the other end, I can come to this side and go to Hosts. So now I'm logged in as Brett as a host, and I can see here that someone has requested prayer, Brett1234. So I can accept that prayer. And now I have a private chat with the person who's just requested prayer, and I can pray for that person. So here you can see Brett host has joined the chat. So it's just the two of us. I can say, hey, Brett, thanks for praying for me. And you can now list any prayer requests. I'm not going to do a conversation between myself and myself in the different windows. But now you get it. You, you can chat directly with people. Okay. Church is starting. I've got it on mute here. But church has begun. And so when you tune in here next week or this coming week, Sunday, this is exactly what you'll see. You can even uh, you can fast forward. You can backtrack if you maybe you've missed something. You can pause if you need to quickly run to make a cup of coffee or run to the loo. Keep playing. And uh, let's see if that full screen is working. All right, there you go. You can go full screen. Uh, you don't have to worry about the chats. I would really recommend during the sermon maybe going full screen so you don't get distracted. Uh, but during announcements and those kinds of things, you can uh, exit full screen and you can always see what is happening in the chat. You can love things. You can post amazing prayers. Um, and yeah, so guys, this is why we are so excited for this new platform. Um, it is so versatile and we are able to stream our services to you. We are able to go live. We can play pre-recorded things. And, um, and we, yeah, I think you can tell by how excited I am for this. Uh, so we've been also converting an office at the church into a studio. So we can also uh, film things a little bit more easily. 
uh, and bring possibly what we can do, uh, the best church experience for you guys. Uh, so to our church family, we just love you so much. We are so excited for you to join us. And remember, if you have a device that can connect to the internet, you can get to church online. And uh, we would love for you to make this the primary way for you to view church. So if you've been watching church on your TV through our YouTube channel, you can still do that. Uh, but you won't have the, the chat um, as nice as I've just shown you. You can't request prayer through YouTube. Uh, we can't share links with you through YouTube. So I'd really recommend that so you use Church Online platform. Uh, but maybe you really enjoy having it on your TV. You don't want to sit behind a computer for church. Uh, just simply connect an HDMI cable from your TV into uh, your laptop. Make sure it's on screen mirroring. Then whatever you are seeing on your laptop, you will see on your TV. And that way you can have a nice and big sit back in your PJs with a cup of coffee and enjoy. Don't forget to stand for worship. Uh, I think it's going to be so exciting, you probably will naturally stand. But yeah, like I said, you can tell how excited I am for this. Uh, so please, if you have any, um, if you're not sure about some things, if it's not working for you, just please email me, brett at ruc.org.za. Send me an email and I'll come back to you as best I can to really help you make sure it's working. So guys, we love you, we're praying for you, and we cannot wait to see you at go live.ruc.org.za this coming Sunday for our first Church at Home 3.0. And what makes it even more exciting is it's Pentecost Sunday. Uh, so we, we are so stoked to be launching this new platform on the day that the Holy Spirit came to earth to indwell the believers of Jesus Christ. So we love you guys. We'll see you there.